Welcome back to the channel guys, it's Isaac and this is part two of body image and insecurities. I thought I wanted to do a two part series on this topic and these topics just because I feel like it's such a big issue that especially the culture is speaking into and as Christians I think it's, it's important that we understand God has something to say about this and there's things we ought to be, you know, really digging into because these are issues that we all face and it's important not to push them under the rug but really address them and grow from them as disciples of Christ so that's what we're trying to do in the last video we talked about what God says about our bodies really just this idea that God says we are wonderfully made do we believe him when he says that because we all deal with these things I dealt with this stuff not liking your body what you look like having insecurities about that I think we all kind of deal with that to some level or degree, whether you're a guy or a girl. So in this video, we're going to really talk about what happens when we don't believe God, when instead we believe our own distorted perspectives of our bodies and how we can really combat this kind of negative voice inside when we tell ourselves, oh, you're ugly, you, you, you're fat, all this kind of stuff. Because uh, it's important to know how to deal with that stuff. So like I said before, when we decide to take our own opinions as truth about our bodies, our perspective of our bodies becomes distorted. And you can see this in two really real and extreme ways in anorexia, where you are extreme calorie counting, you're trying to lose weight, but you have that distorted view of yourself thinking that you're overweight, thinking that you're fat, when in fact, no, you're actually malnourished. This kind of obsessive behavior kind of results from this distorted perspective that we're talking about. Um, a similar kind of distorted perspective, but a different, but a different consequence is that of bulimia, where you purge your food, you overeat, and then you throw up or something like that. These things in less extreme forms of them are fueled by these lies that we tell ourselves, this distorted perspective that we have. And if you're struggling with this kind of thing that I've described, whether anorexia or bulimia, or you're not sure or something like that, um, you talk to a professional, medical professional, get some help in that because you don't want to be struggling that way. You need help to reorient your perspective on actual reality. What's going on here? So yes, we know that these lies can lead us down roads that we don't want to be in. We don't want to be going down these roads of hating our bodies or, or doing things that harm our bodies because we have this distorted perspective. But Often we can tear ourselves down or other people can tear us down, say, you know, really hurtful things. You're fat, you're ugly, you're, you're like all this kind of stuff. I remember going back to 11 years old and uh, well, all of a sudden this is my therapy session. Um, <laughs> I remember um, it was a sailing like field trip or something like that. And the kid that I was with was the same age as me. Um, he was like narrating our adventure like a broadcaster and he f referred to me as oh the kid with the big butt and that i mean it stayed with me till now it, that stuff hurts and maybe you've experienced you know you can laugh at that and i mean i can laugh at that because it's just kind of you can laugh amongst the pain but but we all have things in our lives where we're hurt in some way, whether it's our own negative talk to ourselves or other people. It's something we deal with and we have hurt there and we need healing there. And critics may say, Isaac, but what if somebody actually is overweight? What if somebody actually does need to lose weight? Well, my response to that, at least in this series, is this idea that this is an identity issue. We are not just our bodies. That doesn't define who we are on our core. And when we continue to internalize our feelings about our bodies as a representation of who we are, like as if you are a little overweight, that means something about who you are as a person. No, it doesn't. This is an identity issue. Our identity is found in Christ. And Christ says, look, I made you wonderfully. You need to believe that. So this is our starting point. It's not, oh, well, if you're overweight, you should really exercise. You should really, no, that's not where we begin. We begin at the identity. We begin at saying, look, look at what God has said about you. 
It's not about hating our bodies so we change. It's about loving our bodies and loving the God who made them and wanting to do what's best for his creation. That's that's the answer to that kind of criticism. I wanted to throw that in there because I feel like that might be on the top of some, some people's minds. Um, it's an identity issue. We need to begin at understanding where our identity is found, understanding that God has made us wonderful and beginning to heal from a lot of the hurt that often surrounds this issue of body image and insecurities. To kind of conclude this two-part video series, um, I want to leave you with just a couple thoughts. He loves us. He loves you. And he doesn't want you to hate your body. He doesn't want you to live in your insecurities about your body. He wants you to be free from that. Just like I said before, this is an identity issue. Your identity is not found in what your body looks like. Your identity is found in Christ. And he says, you are wonderfully made. And when those insecurities do arise, talk to your heavenly father. Share your heart with him. I think often we just kind of go into isolation mode and we're just like, oh, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. But what we need to be doing is going to God and just say, God, I'm struggling in this area. I'm really having these insecurities that are really crippling me. Can you help me? He wants to hear from you. He'd be glad to. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you enjoyed this series or got something from it, um, please uh, give this video a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel because there's new videos coming out all the time. Leave a comment down below with some of your thoughts. This is such a big topic. I was only able to touch on a couple different issues, on a couple different types of people um it's a big topic and it's kind of intimidating to try to you know dip your toes into i did the best i could i hope you guys got something from it and um i'll see you next time in next video see you guys